Hey, yeah, I don't know what you got, but all right, let's go. I'm Marcio Lima. Um, I'm from the Cape Verde Islands of Africa. At Snap, I'm a motion designer, and I work on a lot of motion and 2D and 3D art. Hi everyone, I'm Atit Karel, a creator and computer engineering student from Kathmandu, Nepal. I've always had a fascination for AR and Snap lenses since the beginning of its introduction. And when Snapchat launched its first version of Lens Studio, I really wanted to try it and made my first lens in 2018. I've been making new stuff and creating and exploring AR ever since. My name is Jimena. I'm Argentinian, but I currently live in Italy. I started in AR two years ago in Argentina when at the agency I was working, we were asked to do some Snapchat lenses for brands. Uh, I love it right away. I had much fun doing them. So sometime later, I started to do it by, for myself. My name is Oliver and I'm Chief Inspiration Officer of Mesh Minds. We are a creative technology studio based in Singapore and partnered with the United Nations Environment Programme. We have a great opportunity to use our creative for good, and it inspires me and fuels me to want to do better because I know we can do much more and the future is really bright in that area. And one thing that I'm really passionate about is education and teaching um, black and brown students how to uh, use augmented reality and be a part of the future, I think can make a huge difference in this world and showing their different perspectives because everybody has a culture, everybody has uh, a, a uniqueness to them. And I think we need to shed more light on that. We need to do more. Let's do it. <laughs> so if you think about it, uh, AR is helping to engage and track audiences around the world on uh, complex issues. So we are strong believers in environmental education through play-based learning. So by offering AR lenses with simple interactions and animations, we can help to significantly engage youth and communities online on the topic of sustainability, which is more important now more than ever. So with Snapchat, uh, we can reach millions. Uh, Lens Studio makes it also accessible for anyone to create meaningful lenses. Today, with all new developments in digital technologies, there are increasingly more opportunities for augmented reality to go beyond the entertainment space. And implementation of AR in social media platforms like Snapchat has increased more user interaction day by day, so it feels like a perfect way to push for a social change and impact a huge audience. This year, I'm using augmented reality to shed light to social justice issues. And the things that I do to try to advance it is really study the technology behind it. At Snap, we have a lot of great templates that you're able to create a bunch of great lenses that you can put out in the world. And I'm really looking at what's going on in this world. And I try to think about like my experiences and other experiences of black and brown folks that I know and what they've been through. And how can we really make an impact with lenses, with augmented reality? And I think storytelling is a big part of that because if we don't know our history, then uh, how are we supposed to progress? And I wanna continue to educate myself and educate others how we can create lenses that can impact our communities and do something for greater good. My most recent project was the March on Washington lens and that was about a month ago. I feel like it stemmed from, you know, the momentum that came from two years ago from this Black History Month museum that we created, but I think this was a little different because of the timing. You know, we're going through a, a lot with, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement. We're protesting, the pandemic is happening. There's a lot of issues going on, but we wanted to make sure that, you know, Black voices were heard and are still being listened to. And um, when we really thought about it, it's like, we're all wearing these masks. How can we take that and put a message on a mask using five Black artists? And we just really wanted to, you know, support Black artists and, and give them a, a spotlight to showcase their art. And we partnered up with the Rebuild Foundation and all the revenue that we made from that 
was donated to students in that community and it also helped uh, provide like art supplies to them. So it was much deeper, but that's a way of how you can uh, make an impact, right? We want to bring more black young artists and fresh minds onto our platform and help them, you know, share their voice. So this year, I had the opportunity to work on a number of different campaigns uh, utilizing lenses that were helping to bring awareness and to advance different social justice issues. And it was exciting to get to work on something that goes beyond just uh, regular marketing or creating things just for fun. One campaign that I really enjoyed uh, being a part of was one this summer that was all about celebrating champions within the LGBT community. Through the lenses in the campaign, we got to highlight and bring visibility to people across the country who were doing great things on behalf of the LGBT community and just celebrating the diversity and the accomplishments of a lot of these people. And it just felt really special to get to be a part of bringing this to life and thinking about how best to use augmented reality uh, within Snapchat to make it a, a fun and educational experience. The most important thing to me about this campaign was the fact that it was giving visibility to people of all walks of life within the LGBT community. And visibility is just so important. That's why I was so excited to be a part of it. As a transgender creative, I know how much it means to see people like myself getting to do great things and to excel and just getting to be themselves and to thrive. I found that AR is a very powerful tool to share a message while making people a part of it. So people wouldn't be just receiving the message, but spreading it and sharing it. So AR is an awesome way to send any message because people can experience it, making it uh, more remarkable. I did some lenses regarding the pandemic to communicate the importance of taking precautions. Uh, this lens is, uh, gave the opportunity to the people to express what they were doing to stop the virus from spreading. Also, to raise awareness of, on the hard work all healthcare workers are doing. The Beat the Virus project was made to raise awareness of the behaviors we all should adopt in order to stop the COVID-19 from spreading. My lenses were focused on the importance of staying home. I tried to give a friendly view for kids and teenagers, how they can help by staying home, safe and getting busy. The lockdown wasn't easy for anybody, but we can be grateful that we live in times where many people are able to work uh, from home and that we can still remain in contact with the people we care the most in real time. We have to face this crisis times all together. We want to make sure that our lenses are easily understandable and straightforward to use. Um, this is helped by making the lenses visually appealing as well. So that's why we work with local artists and create beautiful assets that are then being used in our lenses. This is also encouraging other artists uh, to jump on the bandwagon and learn new ways to express their art practices. Because if you think about it, art has the power to change the world and technology enables the change. I feel like I have to put myself out there creatively so I can make a change. If no one's doing something, then nothing will happen. So. Um, even f when I first created the Black History Month lens, it came because like it hadn't been done before on our platform. And I wanted to really, you know, work with artists and bring a different perspective of augmented reality and using a portal to create a gallery experience showing the kind of people that I know we are and, and share that with the world. So uh, it's a great responsibility. And, you know, as creatives, we like to have fun and, that's amazing, but we have a greater opportunity to make a lot of uh, great impact in this world. So it's a big deal to like be a part of the future because you know we're history in the making. 
Augmented reality is a wonderful tool to encourage people to learn new things in a fun and interactive way. So I've been creating lenses to help people learn new languages using the power of AR in Snapchat. Since the launch of SnapML, I've created lenses for eight different languages using machine learning through which people can learn words for different objects around them in a new language. I think we, the official lens creators, have the responsibility of being careful with the message we share. AR is a very powerful medium for spreading a message and our lenses usually get millions of views. So we should take advantage of this opportunity to spread the right message for the greater good. Well, I always try to be universal, like trying not to stick on a culture or on a group of people. And I search for the right aesthetic and words so anyone can use it and understand it. As Nice Minds, uh, we have a partnership with the UN Environment Programme. So this one is focused on powering environmental pledges using social media tools. So tools such as Snapchat lenses. So our role is not only to inspire the public uh, to make a change, but any artist or content creator out there to show that it also can make a change by creating meaningful lenses. Of course, it's, it's, it's fun to place a hot dog on your desk, uh, of course, but you can also look at it differently. So we have created cute looking types of rice mascots that promote sustainable rice. So you can place them next to your rice dish or wherever you want to show your support towards the production and consumption of sustainable rice. So we always start uh, with distilling the messages that we want to bring over with our lenses. So once it's finalized and we've simplified important messages that we need to communicate, um, and we also have decided on the uh, call to action, we start conceptualization of the lens and test it out with our focus group. So the testing part is very essential. Um, we need to make sure that the messages that we want to convey are easily understandable um, and also easy to share. So this becomes very clear with testing with the focus group, since we, uh, we then gather insightful feedback that helps us refine our lenses. What advice do I have for young creators out there who are trying to create lenses? Um, I would say just really, it's cheesy, but like follow your heart. You should always create something that you feel is important to you and are important to other people around the world. Because if you avoid things, they just get worse. But if you try to tackle it, you'll make a change. You'll actually make a difference. So the best advice that I can uh, say is enjoy what you do, have fun, and then don't be afraid to take risks. It's really tough because it's a lot of these social issues are sensitive topics and you know you can definitely cross the line but as a creative you should never be afraid to just create how you feel because no one can take that away from you and if you you do something from a genuine place in your heart then your opinion shouldn't be critiqued and you can only define who you are and no one else should be able to do that for you. I look forward to seeing what everyone creates and uh, yeah, the future is bright and just follow your heart. An advice I'd like to give to young people who are on social media is to explore your creativity and be true to yourself. And if you're a creator like myself, then you have the power to influence your viewers and your followers on platforms like Snapchat, uh, to make a difference, so I encourage you all to use your platform for the creative good. The best advice I would give to any young people uh, wanting to get started making lenses is just download the tools, follow the tutorials, read the documentation, and just start creating. Snapchat's created such a wonderful platform. It's really fast and easy to just be creative and iterate and have fun. I'm just so humbled that the things I get to create are used by people all over the world. So be careful on what you share. Always search for the basis of the information before 
Uh, there are many fake news everywhere that are meant to spread hate and fear. So please try to always spread message for good. Be mindful on what you are sharing and what impact it will have on others. Please never stop creating, express yourself and share your creativity with the world always. There are so many lenses out there that are purely for entertainment. Try to be a bit different and maybe focus on, on causes you care about. Uh, so think about it as edutainment instead. So Snapchat is such, a, such an amazing and fantastic platform to let your creativity go wild and reach the whole world. So think about the user flow and also the storyline. So lenses that are easy to, to use are so much more effective. Um, and if the story behind your lens is clear, the more chance that you can make an impact on others.